It appears that scammers are now able to drain crypto wallets without needing transaction approvals, or so it seems. Recently, Vitalik Buterin's Twitter page was hacked. We suspect this was achieved using SIM swap attack. The hackers were able to trick Vitalik's mobile carrier to issue a replacement SIM card for his mobile phone, and once successful, they were able to use SMS2 factor authentication to gain access to his Twitter page. That said, if you still use SMS 2FA on Twitter, my suggestion is that you go to your settings, settings and privacy, then go to two-factor authentication and change that to an app-based authenticator like Google Authenticator. It's a lot safer. The hackers were then able to post a link to an NFT mint, and as soon as the unsuspecting victims tried to mint the NFT, their wallets got drained. Over $700,000 was lost before the tweet was taken down, and the account recovered. So what really happened? To understand what happened in this interaction, which by the way is known as ice fishing, we must first understand how token approvals work. Token approvals are like digital signatures that allow a dApp to spend your tokens on your behalf. When you approve a transaction, you're essentially giving the dApp permission to make a move with your assets. These permissions are necessary for normal tradies and transactions to go through. Typically, the DAP or DeFi protocol would ask for a spending cap that is larger than the amount required for the trade in focus. This is so that you do not need to sign multiple token approvals for every single trade, hence saving you gas fees. Future transactions can then happen without requiring your signature until the spending cap is reached. Now here's where it gets tricky. If you're not careful, you might approve a transaction without realizing its full implications. And that's where the danger lies. Unauthorized transactions can drain your crypto wallet. How to identify malicious token approval prompts. Great. Now that we understand token approvals, let's move on to the next critical topic. How to identify malicious token approval prompts. Scammers can be pretty crafty when it comes to tricking users into approving transactions they shouldn't. Here are some red flags to watch out for. 1. Out of context prompts. Be wary of approval requests that seem unrelated to the dApp's purpose. 2. High token allowances. If a dApp asks for a large amount of tokens, it's a big warning sign. Requesting essentially unlimited amounts of tokens is how many malicious sites steal from unsuspecting Web3 users. This can be particularly demoralizing as a user if you've adhered to security tips, including keeping your secret recovery phrase offline only and never sharing it. Despite all your efforts, you could be exploited anyway. For instance, if the trade in question is around the $100 range, then there's no reason for the spending cap in the approval prompt to be in the millions. Always check the spending cap on the transaction prompt before clicking your approval. On MetaMask, you can actually edit and adjust the amount required to a much smaller amount so that the dApp's spending limit is much smaller than your wallet total. 3. Poorly designed interfaces. Scammers often create fake dApps with poor interfaces. Double check the legitimacy of the page you are visiting before attempting a transaction. To protect yourself, always verify the legitimacy of the dApp. Check their official website, read reviews, and seek feedback from the crypto community. It's essential to ensure you're interacting with trusted applications. What to do after clicking on a malicious ice fishing link. Now let's talk about what you should do if you've made a mistake and clicked on a malicious ice fishing link. Don't panic. There are steps you can take to minimize the damage. Immediate actions. First, close the malicious page or tab immediately. Next, disconnect your wallet from the dApp. How you can do this on MetaMask, for instance, within the account view, click on the three dots button on the top right hand corner. In the expanded menu, click on connected sites and then disconnect your wallet from the unwanted dApp. The next step is very crucial and must be done immediately because all signed transactions live on the blockchain and not in your wallet. So disconnecting your wallet might not be enough to stop unwanted transactions from going through. Let's move on to our final section. How to revoke signed token approvals to secure your wallet from potential misuse. To revoke token approvals, follow these steps. Visit the blockchain scanner page, for example, Etherscan for Ethereum or BSC scan for Binance Smart Chain. 
On Etherscan, click the More menu, then under Services, look for Token Approvals. Connect your wallet, look for Suspicious Approval, and revoke them. There are websites like Revoke.Cash that have simpler interfaces and help you disconnect across different blockchains. Once revoked, the contract is no longer valid and your wallet should be safe from unwanted transactions. And that's a wrap for today's video on identifying and preventing ice phishing crypto attacks. Remember, knowledge and vigilance are your best defenses in the crypto world. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more crypto security tips. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Stay safe out there, and we'll catch you in the next video.